there ain't no stopping us Fly without boarding pass Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast Call me a shooting star Let them know who you are Flying up in a bar Wish on a star Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, hi, my name is Jenny, and I like to make videos on hair, makeup, fashion, all of that good stuff. And today is day 10 of YouTuber. If you have not seen the first nine, make sure to watch those and subscribe so you can check out the next 10, no, 20 videos. 20 plus 10 plus this video, 31. Wow, I can do math. Cool. I hope you guys are excited for this video because I was excited making it. At, like I've just been having like a really weird day and I just wanted to sit down, do my makeup, and I just I had no idea what I wanted to do when I sat down and I just kind of went with it and I ended up loving this and now I'm really sad I didn't do this like this morning so I could have worn it all day because I'm not about to go to bed. But I hope you guys like this video and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do. All of that good stuff. And so let's jump into the video. Okay, so honestly, I just like remembered that I lost my mic and all of my voiceovers are going to be like 
sound really crappy because I'm not using my phone. So, I'm gonna stop this as a voiceover because I will we'll do the first part of that as a voiceover, maybe, or maybe I'll just like play it through with music. But I don't wanna try to use my phone as the speaker again and then it sound bad like it did for the back to school makeup look. So, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia contour kit with the shade down in the middle. Also, I have the medium to tan. And usually I do like kind of a lot, but this time I'm gonna go very little at the very bottom of where the contour goes and then blend up with a layer shade. So then this color will actually seem a lot deeper than usual. Okay, hoop in the way. Okay, now I'm going in with the with the top right shade. It is lighter and a little more warm. I'm gonna do this kind of where you put bronzer, but still down towards the contour area more. I'm going in with my Glam Bronze from L'Oreal, if it focuses. And uh, this one is actually discontinued. And I like, I've hit pan pretty bad, but I just haven't felt like buying a new bronzer yet, so. So I feel like I should touch up my eyebrows a little bit. So I am going to go in with my Anastasia Gift Brow in the shade Ebony. And just do a little touch ups. Because I had my brows done earlier. And I'm going to go in with Raw Sienna from the Modern Renaissance palette. Just put that over my entire leg. Also, I am sorry that I keep like bending over to grab my makeup. I don't have... I put the table that I usually put all my makeup on back here. Like, it's this right here. So in front of me, I just have a bench that's like down by my knees and it's already full of stuff from another video that I made. So all of my makeup is in my carrying case, like on the floor. <laughs> I just do not have enough space for all of my makeup. I mean, I could have cleared off the bench and then put it all up here, but I had no idea what I was going to be using. So that would just been a lot more work than really necessary. They're starting to chat and get ready with me apparently. I don't know. Okay, I seriously love this thing. It is the Sephora color switch. And then you just like swirl your brush around in it to get the eyeshadow off so you don't have to wash your brushes as often. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Red Ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette. This one right there. And I'm gonna put that right on the outer V. And then I'm going to go in with that same color on just a denser brush and put it even lower and more precise and a little deeper. Taking a big fluffy brush and blending all of that out. I'm gonna 
put some translucent powder underneath. To first of all clean up the red and then to also catch any fallout. Now with that same dense brush, I'm going to go into my smoky palette and uh, go into this brown right here. And just get that really low on the outer corner. Now I'm going to go in with my Kathleen Morphe palette. I did a review on this. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. And then I'm going in with the dense brush again. Just going to go in with the black. Like in the, uh, the black. You can really just use any black, but I want to use this one. Because this is the one I have. go back in with the Kathleen palette and uh, do the top right shade, the shimmery bronze. I'm not using like Fix Plus or anything, mostly because I lost mine, I don't know where it is, but also because since I'm going in with glitter, I just want a base color. You might end up carving all of this out and covering it anyways. So now onto glitter, I'm going to be using number eight from the glitter from NYX. So I'm gonna go in with this little brush. Going with one like a little bit bigger and put the glitter on. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with a little more black on the outside. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of a, I wanted a deeper red color, but I don't currently have one with me. I, there's probably one in the Morphe 350 palette, but that is in my room, so I don't feel like getting it. So we're going back in with the Kathleen palette and go with this one. It's more of a mauve, but it's warmer tone than a regular mauve, so I'm okay with it. I'm gonna really tap that off because I do not want too much product. I'm just going to make it a little deeper above the glitter. I'm 
time for the brow bone. So I'm gonna go in with my smoky palette and do the lightest shade. Um, if my eyebrows seem darker, that's because I just touched them up because I realized I'm going literally full out glam with everything else. My eyebrow game needs to step it up. So now I'm going to go in with my favorite eyeliner of all time. Now that my wings are done, I'm gonna go in and catch up the glitter a bit more. Now that I have like the full effect in, because I wanna do a little more glitter up here, just sparsely. Also in places that don't have gl the glitter glue, just so it blends a little better. It's time to wipe away. setting powder. Could not think of the word for a second. <laughs> but um, I use the NYX Glitter Primer. I forgot to mention that. And I'm going to go in with some lashes. I have the Ardell Lash Lookbook. So I'm going to go in with the 105s right here. They're not as long as the 113s because I, like, I own a pair of 113s and I didn't like them. I ended up cutting them shorter because they were too long for me. And then my favorite ones in here are the 120s. So I just added my fake lashes on. It actually ended up deciding on the 120s when I showed before that I said was my favorite because like the part that I just cut out was me trying on four different lashes and not liking any of them. So since I use full glam on the eyes, a lot of people don't like to have a very bold lip. Some people prefer nudes. I really don't care either way. I just like when it matches the eyeshadow. And uh, I'm like looking through my collection and I don't think I have one that matches this eyeshadow, except for maybe trust issues. But I've worn that in probably like four different videos. So I wanna show something different. I'm gonna go with a nude. I'm going to go in with Sugar Daddy from Too Faced. I'm sorry, there's eyeliner on it. Okay, that's a lot more pink than nude. I didn't know that was that pink of a nude. I like the color, but it's way too pink. So, I'm gonna go on the next liquid suede in Sandstorm, that right on top. Okay, and that is the end of this makeup look. Oh wait, no. I did not put on highlighter. No, nope. hold the, rewind. Okay, <laughs> we're going with Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop from, oh no, not Champagne Pop. I'm using Prosecco Pop and the Jaclyn Hill Face Palette. How did I almost forget highlighter? What is wrong with me? So much better. And I don't normally set my face, but like, 
it's almost time for me to go to bed, so I'm gonna be washing this off anyways. I don't wanna waste my second spray because it's almost out, but set your face with second spray, please. Then it'll last. Hey, just a little input here. Um, I tried this with a brown lipstick. It is a Limbo from ColourPop, five gallon lipstick. I love it. But that's the end of this fall glam makeup tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm sorry if it was kind of all over the place. I just wanted to like sit down and make this video for you guys kind of quickly. So it kind of felt like a little rushed. I will try to fix that for you guys next time. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoy. And if you liked it, make sure to like and comment down below. And let me know how you felt about it. And uh, make sure to subscribe so you can keep up with YouTuber and all of that good stuff. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.